Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have seen about the topic introduction to finite automata. There are two types of finite automata, namely DFA and NFA. Now let us see about the topic acceptance of string in finite automata. So first we'll discuss the concept in DFA. So a string W is said to be accepted by a DFA if and only if delta of Q0 comma W is equal to QF. That is for the given input string, if we are able to reach the final state from the initial state, then the string is said to be acceptable. So from the formal definition, we know that for one particular state and one particular input, we can have only one next state. So let us discuss the example. So we have three states Q0, Q1 and Q2 and the input is 110110. So let us check whether this input is accepted by the DFA or not. So start with the initial state. So delta of Q0, comma, take the input as it is 110110. So you have to check with the first digit of the input string that is delta of Q0, comma, 1. Q0, comma, 1 it is going to Q1. So delta of Q1, comma, take the remaining part of the input string that is 1010. Next you have to check with Q1 and 1. So Q1 and 1 it goes to Q2. So delta of Q2 comma take the remaining part 0 double 1 0. Next check with 0. Q2 0. Q2 0 is to itself that is Q2. Q2 comma remaining part is 1 1 0. Now check with Q2 and 1. Q2 1 is also to itself. So Q2 comma 1 0 the remaining part. So next delta of Q2 1. So Q2 1 is also Q2 only. So remaining part is 0. So finally delta of Q2 0 is also Q2. So we have reached the final state. So for the given input string we are able to reach the final state from the initial state. So thus this string is accepted by DFA. Now let us discuss about the same concept using NFA. So a string W is said to be accepted by NFA if and only if delta of Q0, W leads to some final state. Because the definition of NFA is that for one particular input and one particular state we can have any number of next states. So there can be any number of final states. So if we are able to reach some final state from the initial state, then that string is said to be acceptable. So let us discuss this with an example. So here we have um, five states that is Q1 to Q5 with the input 0 and 1. The input given is 0, 1, double 0. So let us uh, discuss whether this string is acceptable or not. So start with the initial state. So the initial state is Q1 here. So Q1, the first digit of the input string is 0. So Q1 on 0, Q1 on 0 it goes to itself and then Q4. So it goes to itself Q1 and also goes to Q4. Okay. So thus for the input 0 we can have two states that is one is Q1 and another one is Q4. So next digit is we have completed 0, next digit is 1. So we have to check it with the Q1. So Q1 on 1. So Q1 on 1 goes to itself and then Q2. So it goes to itself and then it also goes to Q2. Okay. Next, you can also check Q4 on 1. But we don't have transition for Q4 on 1. So it is blocked. So next digit is we have to check with 0. So Q1 on 0. So Q1 on 0, it goes to itself as well as to Q4. So Q1 on 0 goes to Q1 as well as to Q4. Okay. So Q2 on 0 also you can check but there is no transition from Q2 on 0. So this is blocked. So next digit is we have completed this. The remaining is 0. So Q1 on 0. So Q1 on 0 again it goes to Q1 as well as Q4. So Q1 on 0 we have checked. Next we can also check Q4 on 0. So Q4 on 0 it goes to Q5. So 
now we have reached the final state that is q5 so according to this input string 0 1 double 0 so we have three terminating states that is q1 q4 and q5 that is 0 1 0 0 leads to q1 0 1 0 0 leads to q4 and then 0 1 0 0 q5 so the terminating states are q1 q4 and q5 so according to the definition if it is reaching to some final state also then it is considered as acceptable so q5 is the final state so q5 is available here so this string is acceptable by the nfa so thus we have discussed about both dfa and nfa for the acceptability of a string thank you